Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here in a completion video. So I am thrilled with how this turned out. Isn't this pretty? This is my diamond painted deer, a fawn really, and chipmunk, my little chippy, in a snowy background with the trees and a sunset or sunrise and more trees and more snow and I think this just came out beautifully and look how nicely it sparkles and I'm filming this at night time I'm using my overhead light and a lamp to the side I'm sure it would sparkle even more in the daylight I see some people who film and their sparkles just sparkle like like special effects and mine never do that but they're still very sparkly I mean look how sparkly okay so hang on a second I am going to get my book I started a book so I could record everything about what I'm doing and keep track of it like a journal so I didn't buy a special book I did not buy a special book. I am using a Canada journal because look how cool. Holographic wolves. And this is just from the Dollar Tree. Um, or Dollarama. Dollarama. And I paid $3 for that. And I bought it a long time ago. It's something I just had in my house. I think I bought this like a couple summers ago maybe. And I had just never used it. Because every time I see a book that I like, a notebook or a journal, I do keep journals. Um... I buy one and I keep them in my stash and I thought this would be cool because I love animals and look how beautiful that is. Isn't that cool? Anyway, so I'll go through this book um, with you guys another time. But for right now, I just want to find my dear in Chippy, I'm calling it. So this is all I'm doing is I'm using the stuff that was on the side of the, uh, the diamond painting when I cut it off and I'm just gluing it in here I do have a printer but it's not working properly and I don't want to go to the store and buy a new printer so this is um, from fan cells it's item number B3258 it is 30 by 40 centimeters and that was the whole canvas not the drill area so the drill area is a bit smaller than 30 by 40 um, it had 25 colors, as you can see here. And it was lovely. It went one to nine. And then number 10 started with alphabet letters. So that was really nice. I really appreciated that. I paid $5.15 Canadian. It's full round. It took one month to arrive from fan cells. I kitted this up. January the 10th and I completed this January the 13th and I became obsessed with this without realizing that I was obsessed with it so the night that I kitted it up it was about 10 o'clock at night and I thought you know what I'm just gonna do a little bit along the bottom just to get started and then I'll put it away so I don't know how long does it take to kit up 25 colors half an hour so I think I started this at around 10 30 p.m. and I thought I'll work till midnight maybe one o'clock because I stay up late yeah you guys the next time I looked at the clock it was like seven in the morning I worked right through the night and I got a lot of this done like a lot so I was able to finish this even though I started it at nighttime on January 10th I was able to finish it on January 13th and that's because I worked all through the night on January 10th. I think normally something this size would take me a week to do if I just worked on it an hour or two a night, which is normally what I do. But I went into some kind of diamond painting days. I had no idea the time was going by. All right, so even though it's a beautiful and I love it, this had some issues. Um, like one of my other fan cell ones that I did, the snowman the glue all along the outer one edge and sometimes two so this row along the edge and sometimes two rows there was no glue it would not stick 
So in a lot of places, not all the places, but in most of the places, I had to add glue just to get the outer pieces to stick. Um, the middle was better, but there were also spots where it was just sliding around. Nothing was popping off. Nothing at all was popping off, but they were sliding. Like they were, like a skating rink sliding. I mean, I put something here, and the next thing I know, I, it'd be like just moving. <laughs> and it was crazy. And, um, yeah. So that wasn't good. And the other thing that was bad with this kit from Fanzels is I ran out of drills for one color. The 413s. So 413 was... number five so number five was the 413 and it wasn't just like five or six that were missing or 10 or 20 i'd say there were about 80 to 100 drills missing so i thankfully had enough colors left over from when i did my my squirrel and my bird painting so i just used those and i put those in and that was um the only problem with this too slidey yeah that was the only problem so i did make one little change with this painting the deer's ears looked completely dead so i popped out one of the black um the black drills and i put in a white one for that white spot in the eye and that made it come to life i tried to do it with a chipmunk too but it didn't look right so i just put a, like a little gray one instead and i guess I could have gone with a cream color, but the white looked too startling. So the, but the chipmunk's on the side and he's tinier, but the deer, I think putting the white spot in the eye gave it a lot of detail that it would, like it didn't look alive. It just looked really flat. And just adding that white spot in the eyes made a real difference. So this whole thing is sealed with Tombow clear um, glue. And it's, I had to seal it because they were just, sliding everywhere the drills weren't staying in place so but even though it's sealed with glue it's still very sparkly and I haven't been able to go out and get a frame for it because um we were all in quarantine here because my mom had a fever on Saturday we had to have the ambulance come on Sunday morning because she had a rash on her throat my mom's elderly. She's 77 years old. I was really, really worried. But um, she refused to go with the ambulance to the hospital. She absolutely refused. But then after they left a few hours later, the rash on her throat got much worse. So she let my dad take her in to the emergency department. And he had to just drop her off because you're not allowed to go in with anyone. And she was there all day. And um, they said that it seemed like she had an allergic reaction to something. So they also said it could be an infection. They weren't sure. They didn't test her for COVID because they're, I guess, saving all the tests for the kids that went back to school on Monday. So they just told her to take antibiotics and to follow up with her own doctor and that we all had to quarantine for five days because we're all fully vaccinated and we all have our booster shots. So we're all in quarantine. I feel fine. My dad feels fine, and my mom is already better, but better safe than sorry, so I'm not going out to get a frame for this until everything is all better. And she's doing a lot better. Whatever she had, the antibiotics are clearing it all up. But anyway, that was it with our deer, with my deer and my chipmunk. I absolutely love this. What I did was I, um, I don't have it here now. It's on the wall, but I used some of that sticky stuff. What is it called? It's like blue tack, but it's not blue. It's white. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the same as blue tack, but it's white. So I just use that to tack it up on my wall, and I really enjoy looking at it. And I, don't, I guess it doesn't even need a frame for now. It just looks pretty. And I mean, I can't frame everything. I want to frame everything because I'm starting out, but we'll figure out a solution. I, I'm just putting it with sticky tack on the wall for now is great. And then I can just move them around as I get new ones. So, and it's just my room. Like, if the one down in the living room that I made for my mom, that's in a frame. But this is for me, and I love it. All right, and I'm babbling again. I'm sorry, you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button. It means a lot to me as a new channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about it. Um, 
How how have your fan cells paintings been? Have you ordered from them? Have you had issues with the glue not being around the edges or like things sliding around? I mean, this is beautiful. I love it. But it was really hard to do because of those issues. All right, you guys. Take care and stay safe. Bye for now.